Hello, hello. How are you guys? Good evening, Edwin. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice. I'm doing great too. How's your day? Man, it's going. It's going. What happened to you? You have been absent a little bit. Yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. I have some problems, issues in my house. Uh, I already resolved them uh, because we uh, we call um, Claro, that is the company that we have here. So they came today and resolve my the problem. I don't know uh, what was the real problem because they talked to my they they talked to my wife, but she didn't tell me anything about it. <laughs> so I don't know what was the real problem. Hmm. Yeah, but it's done. Okay. Yeah. How's how's your job doing? Everything great today. I, I have a a very nice day because um, I went to um to the to the office, so no. I, I I'm not going to the office, but this day uh, today was different because uh, my boss she said that we that we need to do some some um, activities. So that was the reason that we went to the office. That's the office good. I'm telling you because you know that I'm a driver, mm -hmm. so I don't I don't work in, uh, <laughs> in a in a house. Correct. So, so we we don't go to the company much, you know. I just stay at the house and just being there. And actually, I do everything right there. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good. And the, the you know, um, I uh, something that I noticed today, the her son, he's going to buy a a new a new truck. Uh, the new Land Cruiser 2023. Oh, oh my God, we, we, we saw the, we saw the uh, tr uh, truck today. It has a lot of things that the technology is, is so amazing. Like you, you could imagine how, how nice is that car. I do, I do imagine it. Yeah, uh, everything. You, yeah. Just, just the fact that it's a 2023 car. I mean, it's gonna be very techy, very technological. Yeah, like the best, the, coding, the best coding technology. It doesn't have it doesn't have a a shifter, you know, to do the mm -hmm. the shifts. The shifting is it's just an, a nod, right? It's yes, a nod. Just, just with the remove, you can uh, turn it off or or turn it on, and and you you know what? It, they, they can the the that this truck can parking all uh alone. They without a, yeah, with, it without does. A yeah, it, wow. it does that. Just it's just um just calculate the the I, I don't know how to explain the distance, the, distance, but of, uh, the, distance the space of, and the distance, yeah, spaces uh, and everything. And it's so amazing they give us the 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 try, and we saw that. Oh my god, it's it's so incredible! Wow, yeah, amazing. But you know how much is the the price? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> it's like twenty-five or something. Not even the chair is like it's like almost uh how do you say one hundred a hundred one hundred and twenty thousand? Yes, uh one hundred and twenty thousand. That's my house's price. Oh my exactly. god. Exactly. That that's what I'm telling you. Like it's it's so it's too so much. expensive. It's too much money. Yeah, it is too much. But they cost for me, Land Cruiser is the most expensive cars here in El Salvador because they have two B BMWs X XC and mm -hmm. those cost like around 70,000. So they are more, it's more, more cheaper than Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser is the best, mm -hmm. yeah. To any Toyota is, is good, I think, yeah. There is trap. Man, today's topic. Okay. 
Okay, so how many are we so far? Eight. Wow. We are eight. Let's see, teacher, I get working today and will I will be only listening. Listening. Okay. Got it, Nelson. Give me just a minute. Let's make some time for your classmates. Gotta do this. So it will be um still working. Day. I'll be, I will be, I will only be. Remember that the frequency adverbs or the adverbs go before the verbs, right? And when you have an auxiliary, you have to add that adverb before the verb still. So I will only be listening. Sorry, I'm just correcting Nelson's text there we go so you see look at the difference the the adverb goes before the verb i will only and just to to remember that you can think about whitney houston think about whitney houston i will always love you i will always love you if you want to remember where to put the adverb think about that song and you got it <laughs> Okay, so all the uh, adverbs, including the frequency adverbs, uh, majority goes, well, all of them go before the verb. The exception is sometimes, okay? I will sometimes be listening. Sometimes I will be listening. I will be listening sometimes. So just sometimes you can play with it put it at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the sentence, okay? Any other adverbs? You need them right before the verb. Got it, okay. Good, let's do the attendance so we can continue with our conversation. We had pending yesterday. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Anaselmi Chévez, turn on your camera, guys, please. Elvin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. She's connecting. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. <laughs> Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Thank you. Her, <laughs> you were connecting your audio, I know. Okay. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriel didn't come back. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Yeah. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Not here yet. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. She's connecting her audio too. Let's give her a minute. Wait a minute. Think calls my consciousness in the sixth dimension. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God, she, well, she's here. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Man, you're changing. You're always changing your scenario. Sometimes it's green, sometimes you're at home. Yes, I, I need a chair that are comfortable because I, I feel so tired of them. I, I told to my my oldest son that, hey, could you lend me your chair, please? 
because I do, do you remember I told you that my my oldest young is starting for yeah he started for for he's studying medicine oh yeah to become a doctor yeah that's amazing I bought, is, I bought a, a ergo, an ergonomic ergonomic chair, chair and it is also comfortable because that's awesome. I, I now I, I will I, I will bet a bat a, a backache in another chair. Yes, in a different chair, sometimes you get a backache. To, to, to hey, where we have to is be. he taking? I'm concerned. Is he taking online classes? This is my first my first time. No, I, no, no. I never. Your I, son, I, your son oh. is studying medicine. Is he taking online classes? Um, this year he he has to go he has to go presential classes he had to go to live classes they 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 had to go to to the hospital to you didn't get my practice. point but i can imagine that a doctor taking you know virtual it, classes is like it is it is so hard because when i i wake up i wake up in the morning he is finishing to study uh, it's finishing at, at, at five at, at five five a.m oh my okay. god yeah, it is it is so but, so but but it will it will worth it i mean in the end it yes. will worth it believe me it's it's a but beautiful career he enjoys but he enjoys study study like so i mean if i think that the best thing that could happen to you in your life is finding what you love doing if then don't trust me don't believe me ask messi or ask cristiano ronaldo <laughs> I mean, if you find what you love doing and, and they pay you for doing what you yeah. like, oh my God, that's amazing. Teacher, a man, a man or men told, told us in my company um, I mean, uh, uh, training, mm -hmm. I remember he told us when you enjoy your job, you're never going to work. Yeah. It's true. If you love what you do, it's not a job, it's a hobby. Yes. That's right. Okay, tonight's conference. How millennials' characteristics influence the workplace? How do they influence the workplace? Um, and I think there's a misconception. I continue stating that there's a misconception between millennials and and zennials, you know. There's a, a confusion because the ninis, ninis is something different. I mean, senials are the latest generation, the the baby. And it's not baby boomers, but you know the babies, basically the ones. My sons, my sons, my kids. You know, uh, they are basically uh, the new generation that, that think they know everything and they're very techy, very technological. So. Just to put, teacher, uh, sure. sure. uh, I I received a training two or three months ago about this this situation or this about topic. It, it is talking uh, the training was about working with the um, new generation, but the um, the teacher or the instructor, the, the, the instructor facilitator told us that baby boomerang it is grandfather or the baby boomerang what the, the next baby boomer yeah baby, yes, boomer. baby boomer then you have the x generation and, and the millennials they, they are grandfather eran como los abuelos de cada cada tercera generación i am going to say in spanish yeah. uh, que nos contaba de que se puede que por eso se entienden los baby boomer mm -hmm con los que son los post Segunda Guerra Mundial. Lo, the, lost, the Lost Generation. Uh -huh. Después venía la... I don't remember. La, la, silence. La, la, silence Generation. Ah, yes, the silence. After that, the Z, <laughs> Z Generation. <laughs> oh, my God. But, no, it, it, there's, we will see that. Uh, actually, before we finish this model, we will talk about x and uh, we will do a comparison between the x the y the z generation and and just to put things in context i i found a video have you ever watched um ellen degeneres 
No. The Ellen DeGeneres show in this in the United States is is almost as famous as this other black lady. What's her name? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey? No. The no. Oprah Winfrey show? No. Doctor Phil? No. No, really, <laughs> Carla? Yes, I know. That you know, show. this shows, it's like Cristina. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah that, Señorita that's... Laura. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not, not as Señorita Laura. But Ellen DeGeneres' show is really good, actually. Although I prefer uh, the Saturday. In... What? It's similar to an interview for a... Uh, mm. um... For I stars <laughs> for Hollywood stars, you know, any kind of stars, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right, actresses, uh, but not only uh, um, stars, you know, they she actually invites regular people to talk about different topics. So, I'll send you, I'll share a video with you today so you can watch it. But do me a favor, necesito que me un favor en ese video que um, lo empiecen a ver desde. Let me check again. Oh my God, I lost it. About just move forward, skip forward. Muevanse hacia el minuto. Okay. Muevanse un minuto del principio. Skip forward one minute. Okay. So, veamos el video. Si sí necesito que tomen notas. Hay mucho vocabulario que les puede causar problema y lo vamos a hablar en la clase, okay? Take notes. So it's just like four minutes, but I'm going to give you 10 minutes. You will have 10 minutes. Take notes. Let me know if you found any new words, okay? Teacher, comparta el link aquí. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. True. There you go.
not too many difficult words, I think. I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know whenever you're ready. Okay, so what was the video about? <laughs> Free speech. Uh, it's, it's funny video because because Ellen DeGeneres um, uh, did compare um, what what know each each people that that any uh, uh, that that's any uh, history about the time mm -hmm. because she 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 show a uh, song uh, object uh, object uh, used during the during the time but okay. the the girls is also have a it has a a, a good uh, answers and the men to uh, have uh, he had an idea general yeah general idea because it was funny when a uh, man take a take a ear earphone he, uh, <laughs> open the the, the, the ear case. pods the ear pods ear, uh, yeah, ear pods. And, she, and he goes like ear box Earbuds. Uh -huh. Earbuds. <laughs> it's the box. It's buds. B U D S. Earbuds. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Box uh, means bichos, insecto. Oh. Ear bugs? No, ear buds. Ear buds. Yeah. Okay. And B U D S stands for bodies, just, just like cheros, right? So ear buds. Okay. Interesting. Okay, words. Thank you, Carla. True, it's true. It's a comparison between the two um, generations, right? Between baby boomer, a baby boomer. Who was the baby boomer there? Who was the baby boomer? Uh, the man is a the baby man. boomers. The man yeah. is a baby boomer. Okay, and she was a millennial. So yeah, it was a comparison between the two generations, a millennial and a baby boomer. Um, so new words. Um, clapping back, clapping, yeah. clapping back. Yes, floppy, floppy disk. You uh, never... I only only floppy. I don't I don't remember the next. Uh, that's Back like back? it's a synonym of flexible. Flexible, uh, floppy, floppy. Ah, okay. floppy is flexible. Babe. When she say vape, pen. vape, vape pen is to smoke. It is is something that they use to smoke nowadays. Okay. And it's... I have, have a doubt with a with a pronunciation because some sometimes I I hear the people say, "Oh my god," but it's not that. It's say, "Oh my gosh." Oh, I yeah, she, 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 she kept saying, gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh. Yes, is what kids, is what um, what kids or teenagers are, are using nowadays. Gosh, instead of saying, oh, my God, they are lazy. <laughs> they, we, I mean, they, I don't know, they're lazy. Um, 
instead of saying, oh my God, they say, gosh. Instead of saying baby to call their, their lover, you know, instead of saying babe, they say bye, bye, B-A-E. B-A-E, that, that's like saying baby to someone. Hey, baby. Let's see. Teacher, teacher, uh, another uh, song funny was when the girls, uh, she couldn't tell the time in an analog clock. She couldn't read the analog clock. Uh. True. And that's because at the beginning of the video, the, the part that you skipped, that I asked you to skip, um, Ellen explains that she heard something. She heard that schools in the United States are removing the analog clocks because millennials cannot read analog clocks. They, uh, I read in a, some part that the millennium uh, is very difficult to uh, count and uh, plus and uh, restart it. So oh, you, you mean to the, the regular operations? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To add or to rest, yes. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Because they use the uh, electron, uh, the cell phone for this operation. <laughs> that is true. Subtract, subtract, subtract is true. Hmm. There are many ways of saying split. It's not just split. Okay, anybody else? Words, words, Walter? Hey, teacher. Um, in this video, um, the trees to compare, if the millennia now, the old things, um, if the baby boomers, uh, now the current things, and all all things and new things. I'm not following your question. I'm sorry. Can you pass? Is, is the video? Uh huh. Is tries to compare. To compare. Uh huh. To compare if the millennials and now the old things. The oldies. Old things, the old things. All the old, the elderly, yeah, elderly, elderly and, people. Mm -hmm. And if the baby woman, and now is the current and things, the new, uh, the moments. Mm -hmm. That uh, is true. For me, the price is very good. <laughs> The price is very good. Mm. That is true. That is true. Okay. So yeah, there's a big difference, right? There are some videos where they put kids, little kids, uh, to try to turn on a, a cassette player. A cassette player? I mean, <laughs> and they don't know how to do it. Or to dial a rotary phone, to dial on a rotary phone. Do you remember the rotary phones? The ones with the little circle and you used to go like, I, I have one teacher. Really? Yes. That's but an antique. Then, then we changed um, uh, in alambric. So, but it is so like Gran Ladrillo. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, yeah. so if you didn't catch the words, I, I actually wrote some words that may be challenging for you still so if you turn on the captions and then se encendieron los subtítulos que espero que lo hagan en inglés que tengan subtítulos en inglés cuando veamos estos videos recuerden que pueden cambiar la velocidad 
para ir viéndolos. Ok, laughter. So the closed captioning said laughter. It's not smile, right? It's laughter. <laughs> right? Strong laugh. It's three ish. It's eight thirty ish. It's about eight thirty, right? What time is it? What time is it? Four and twenty. Yeah. It's okay. eight. Susana? Eight, eight, thirty-six. It's eight, thirty-six. Yeah, it's eight, thirty-six. So you could say it's eight, thirty-ish. It's eight, thirty-ish. Eight, 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 half past eight. Uh, I don't like that. Half past eight. Mm. Now, yeah. in that context, Sandra, it will be, it's 23 to 9. It's 23 to 9. It's 23 when, to 9. When you help, help us. I don't like that. That's more British. Eh, Súper rápido en español. Eh, sigan siempre los números, como lo acaba de decir Susana. Solo uh -huh. los números, solo los números, porque es muy complejo. Pero sí, eh, des, antes de las ocho y, no, y media, mencionó justo como lo hizo Sandra. It's 30 past eight. It's, ah, tw past eight. it's 29, past 29 eight. past eight. It's 25 past eight. Después del 30, en adelante, entonces cuento al revés. It's 29 to nine. Right now, it's 22 to nine. It's 22 to nine. It is better if you just say the numbers. It's 8.38 p.m. It's 8.38. Es más, el p.m., el a.m., si no estás, si estás en el mismo uso horario que los demás, no es necesario que digas p.m. or a.m., ¿ok? Mm. Creo que se entiende un poco eso. Ok, good. Next. Uh, what does it stand for? I'm sorry. What does it stand for? A synonym question of? What's the meaning of? What's the meaning of? So, for example, our next step. If you see these words, look at your chat on Zoom. On flick. On flick. Excuse me, teacher. What does it stand for? What does on fleek stand for? What does on fleek stand for? What does on fleek stand for? Another one. Have you seen on TikTok? On TikTok, it's a POV. Yeah? Have you seen TikTok? Have you watched videos on TikTok and then it says POV? It's like, what? sorry, what does it stand for? What does, what does POV stands for? Do you know? Okay, so what does it stand for? It's like saying, what is the meaning of? Teacher, what is the meaning of POV? Point no, of no, what is view, point of view. Point of view. Okay, so es otra manera de decir what is the meaning of sería what does it stand for. Ese it se puede reemplazar por lo que quieres saber. What does on fleek stand for? Um, it means very good. Very good. Okay, on fleek. Very good. Clapping back. Did you understand what does what is the meaning of clapping back? Not really. <laughs> It's difficult and it doesn't make sense. It's like cuando su niño, por ejemplo, usted le dice, ya cállese. Y le dice al niño, Susana, vos cállate. Mm. Exactly. That. Oh, so you're clapping back. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Malcriades, pues. 
se atrevió a contestarte, mira, ok, clapping back. It's clapping back, ok. Clap is... Clap. When you go to the theater or, or to a concert, then you clap. Right? Oh, That's... The word is only clapping. Only no. clapping clap, is the word. Clap is aplaudir, the verb. Uh -huh. And clapping back is aplaudir de regreso textual, pero ese es el contexto. Responder. Okay. Floppy, we said it's flexible. Vape pen is... Uh, it's a device to stop smoking and just uh, steam, you know, it's steam, vapor. It's a steam pen. Let's see, subtract, subtract, which is what the Carla was asking me for is not rest, is subtract, subtract, restar. Elderly, that's the word you use for old people, elderly. I don't see any elderly here. There are no elderly in the classroom, thank God. Okay, let's continue. So yesterday we were talking about how, how uh, marketing strategies have uh, evolved. You know, there has been an evolution on marketing strategies. We talked about the, the media back in our childhood, it was just uh, the newspaper. And if you had a TV, that's it. But now you are surrounded, bombarded all day by marketing strategies. I mean, you go walking and you see the Moopies, right? I hate Moopies. I really hate Moopies because sometimes you are at the bus stop and you cannot see if the bus is coming, right? Has that happened to you? Man, and you have to go like, oh my God, where's the bus? Right? Because there's a movie. So that was yesterday's topic. We said about millennials, you know, how they have been influenced in a different way. Now, what? happens with millennials in reality what is what is a distinct of millennials what is the stereotype that really really uh, identifies someone as a millennial uh, for example a salvadorian how do you identify a salvadorian in another country <laughs> the food? Okay. I'm not uh, I'm not carrying a pupusa everywhere. Hey, look at my pupusa. This is my pupusa on Salvador. <laughs> but mm -hmm. accent. the vocabulary, yeah. Edwin. The accent when it when the I, I recommend as a, a yeah, a Salvadorian just for when he talk like he in he and he has uh, when when wait wait when wait someone... Let, let's change let's uh -huh. say, let's change the pronoun say we say we instead of when he when he <laughs> you're Salvadorian come on yeah when we talk uh huh yes it's because um like uh, when I was 19, 18 years old. I went to US for, and I live over there for almost four years. And actually to recognize a Salvadorian, it was just for the, for the vocabulary. When the, with the West, the, 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 how they speak, you know, ah, he's a Salvadorian. <laughs> was, hey, mira, vos dame una pusa. <laughs> yeah, first of all, they called you boss. They don't uh -huh. say tu o usted. Radley, Radley is the word. He goes like, yeah, they Radley goes like, mire usted, como se llama usted, right? They go like, hey, bo, mira vos home, y vos home sometimes, right? <laughs> Gabriel is really laughing. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. And, and we say el volado, el chunche, right? So many words that we use, or we don't use words. We go like, ¿qué querés? Es volado. ¿Dónde está? Uh -huh. 
right? Just hate that. Okay. So, y para decir uh, que está bien algo. <laughs> what? That's so funny. Okay. So, stereotypes. The same thing happens with millennials. Their main stereotype in the United States, at least, is the vocabulary. So, I'll send you another link. Do you have a list of words used by millennials? And I want you to select just five words, okay? Five words that you do understand the minute. Do it for the views. I mean, there are so many. It's like, hold on, how many are they? No, it's just like 15, okay? So just select five words that you understand and give me an example, a sentence where you could use these words, okay? So I'll send you the link. It's 24 phrases. It's 24 phrases. So just choose five of them in groups, the same five for the group and make one sentence for each one. So I need five sentences. I'll go ahead and split you. Está claro lo que vamos a hacer. Alguien tiene una pregunta. Questions, questions. What do you do? What are we doing? What are we doing? Vamos a buscar cinco palabras que sí entendamos su significado y las vamos a aplicar en una oración. Cada una de esas palabras cinco oraciones, es decir, cinco oraciones porque van a elegir cinco palabras que sí comprendieron lo que quiere decir, ¿ok? Ahí está el link en WhatsApp, ahorita se los envío acá a Zoom. In fact, let me do it first. There you go. There's the link on your chat in Zoom and in WhatsApp too. Uh, hmm. Hay varios que tienen la cámara apagada y si sí los necesito interactuando ahorita que los voy a dividir en grupos pequeños. So, por favor, si son tan amables de interactuar con sus compañeros ahorita que vamos a estar en grupos pequeños, ¿ok? Good, let's go. Guys, let's go together on your groups. Oh my God, ya. Yeah. ¿Qué hizo teacher? Eso es lo que estoy corrigiendo ahorita que acá, por ejemplo, debería estar Nelson y Susana, pero ninguno de los dos se ha unido. So let's see. Oh. Let's go. I will select five words. 
and make the center with words or with the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first walk. Respect, adulting, cancel. Justo abajo de la primera imagen está la descripción de esa palabra, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo lo ocupan los millennials, ok? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Only five, teacher. Only five to select. Yeah, five. Uh -huh. Just select five words that you do understand. Like that one, for example. Walk, walk, walk. Was, instead yes. of this, instead of saying I awake, they say I walk very happy. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shock. Shock is a surprise. Six. Yes. I wake what? up. I really like that. What is correct answer? What is used the press? No, it's used in no, the... No, wake up and levantarse. Le faltaría la... Out. Wake up. Y levantarse. Mm -hmm. Wait, walk. Wait. Adulting, what about adulting? Adult, I oh, know, I think it's adulting. Ah, adult, adulting. Adult, adult. It's, it's, adult. It's what we are right now. I hate being uh, an adult. <laughs> You know what? I really enjoy my childhood. And Dulti is, is very mm. nice. Work very nice. Adulting. Uh, adulting. Yes. Adulting. Yes, we can use this word to make uh, in sentences. Adulting. So key. Responsibility or decision is making that he usually take care by fully develop the adults. Are you Pay in the are you, okay. are you are you girls see, saw the picture of the baby that he's in chalk? <laughs> he's impressed of something, I don't know how, but it's kind of low key, you know, nothing. It's not his face true. is like sure. What it is true. It's shock at when you impress like mm, impressive. Let's see, uh -huh. A past uh, tense. Shock. Or, or, shock. Uh -huh. shock. Ah, okay, okay. Shaking. Dejamos eso también. Shock. Yes. Mm, Keeping keep in one hundred. The, the point is, make sure you understand how they apply it. Look at the mm -hmm. the. If you look underneath the picture, mm -hmm. right underneath the picture, it says, for example, shook, a past tense of shake, shook is used mm -hmm. like shaken, meaning rocked, dislogged, or trembled, but refers to an emotional rather than physical Water. state. To be shook is to be surprised, Surprise. shocked or scared, scared. <laughs> just like the lady on the interview así como la, la de la entrevista Sandra que mm. se quedaba como oh my god le dice, estoy, estoy, <laughs> estoy en shock <laughs> right now le dice, de hecho tengo miedo voy a, necesito hablar con el de, de recursos humanos ahorita creo que me voy a tomar el día libre mañana le dice <laughs> <laughs> ok that's the idea very good okay. blessa <coughs> blessa Teacher, 
And I, I, I have never heard this word, this expression, keep it in 100. Keep it, keep it in 100. Mm -hmm. Keep it a hundred. Wait, wait, wait. Keep, keep, it, keep, keep it a hundred. Keep, keep it a hundred. Hey, good job, Edwin. Keep it a hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> Como, te estás al cien. Yeah. Mantenete en el cien. But in, in this, in this, look, look at the context. It's synonymous uh, with keep it real. Keep it a hundred can also refer to staying true to yourself. True. It's yeah. not continue doing good, no es continuar haciéndolo bien, no, es mantenerlo real, o sea, seguir así, no, 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 sé vos mismo siempre. That's ok. The... My God. <laughs> It's crazy. Ok, keep it going. Thank you. Uh, hay más Bye. opciones abajo también. Sí. Yes. The letter B. The letter B. ¿A dónde están las, las opciones, dice? Hay más opciones. No, más, más vocabulary. More vocabulary. Oh, there's more vocabulary under. Go at. Go at. That's the need, the need name of Messi. The go at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I received the excuse me. I received the Uh, bien, me voy a mover rápido por ese grupo. Hemos entendido la actividad, estamos buscando cinco palabras para hacer cinco oraciones, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahora, cu cuidado con el significado de cada oración. Eh, sí. Hay que tomar en cuenta cómo lo diría un millennial, o sea, qué significado tiene, por ejemplo, tracking o aesthetic o blessed. Blessed parece ser una muy común, bendecido. Pero ¿cómo lo, ¿cómo lo ve un millennial? Abajito de cada foto aparece el significado, ¿ok? Sí. Ok, good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. También puede ser otra. Can, can... Stay true to yourself and your values, respecting others, others and acting with integrity, keeping things about board if you will. Mm -hmm. okay, keep it 100. Um, I understand. Um, I can make uh, the mention. Uh, Prefer to stay in true to yourself and your value, values. 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 Flores. Values. Uh -huh. Values. Value. Thank you. Value. Values. Values. Acuérdense que el, te, el punto es entender cada concepto que van a elegir. Por ejemplo, hay uno ahí que dice blessed, bendecido, pero los millennials no lo ocupan como precisamente en ese contexto. Right. <laughs> Teacher, in the, in the sentence, eh, how, how, the, uh, the sentence, eh, how, Um, refer a context the millennials or no, a no. sentence um, no but you said you said the right way 
Por ejemplo, dice, blessed can still be genuinely used by millennials to mean divinely or supreme favorite. Ah, entonces, blessed, donde están las dos manitos así, la imagen, si se fijan, dice, mm -hmm. bendecido puede aún ser genu genuinamente utilizado por los millennials para significar divina, divina o supremamente favorecido. Pero, sí, or ironically or social media to dramatically denote in good or positive. Puede ser utilizado en social media como un truco, de, un, como un trabalenguas para, o incluso con sentido irónico, para denotar cualquier cosa buena o positiva que ocurre. One can be blessed. Verbalize as a hashtag blessed. Hmm. Puede ser por un buen... <laughs> La chica, vea. Un, un día en el que el pelo, en el que el pelo no, no se te frizó. Ajá, el pelo no se te frizó ese día. Un día bendecido, dicen. O sea, los millennials lo ven como, wow. Es como, como algo que para nosotros puede ser algo muy pequeño. Y ellos dicen, wow. Right. No sé, ese es un claro muy ejemplo. Banal para, para muy eso. banal, cabal, cabal. Ese es el punto. I get that broken zipper. Es como y un caso extremo que les pinto eh, en un call center una chica que trabajaba conmigo atropellan a una señora y la señora llevaba un perro y por lo menos no le pasó nada al perro bendito sea Dios yes. ok imagínate qué tragedia se le hubiera pasado a un perro pero ella es seria o sea I'm like what the... Maybe I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed because I I can buy iPhone 14. Oh, right. <laughs> so put it yeah. this way. Uh, hey, girls, oh. I bought yeah. the iPhone I'm 14. Blessed because... I'm blessed. Right? I'm blessed. <laughs> That would be a good example. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Or maybe I'm, I'm, I'm blessed for likes or or hard in the in the networking. No, in the rest of the You mean like that? That's like normal. Mm -hmm. Man, you got a job. You're so blessed. You're so blessed. That's the normal thing. Right? Adriana, you're so beautiful. You're so blessed. Mm. ¿Qué sería eso? ¿Sería normal o milenio? Mm. Eso sería normal, ¿verdad? Pero, Adriana, you are not disabled. No eres discapacitada. You're so blessed. <laughs> es que hay cosas que dicen que no se queda yeah. what <laughs> really they're crazy sometimes okay but do your examples Rosa eh, the word in this the uh, Okay, how are you doing? Okay. To make sentence of teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, I making sentences. Yes, making sentences. Hoy ha sido un día tan bendecido, no se me ha frisado el pelo. <laughs> He sido tan bendecido ese día, mi perro pudo ir al baño al fin. Really? Mm. That's a millennial thought. That's a millennial <laughs> thought. That's the way they think. Y ese es el ejemplo de oraciones que podrían hacer. ¿Ya? Yeah? El punto es saber aplicar, notar esa diferencia. Nosotros típicamente decimos, men, qué bendecido estás tener dos trabajos, súper bien. 
es lo normal, ¿verdad? Pero decirle claro. a alguien, qué bendecido estás, no sos feo. <risa> no está gordo. What? Right? <risa> Qué, me, qué preocupación, ¿verdad? Yeah, uh -huh. Ese es el punto, son bien superfluos. Ok. No sé, el que más se me, ha, se me ha venido a la mente. De ahí los demás, es como... Hay que entenderlo para aplicarlo. Ok. I'll be here. O sea, aquí voy a estar, pero... Just listening. Come on. Okay. My baby yesterday is... Phil. No, no, es oh. yester, no, yesterday my, my baby falls falls down and I, I was in shock. I was shocked. I was shocked, uh huh. Yesterday my baby. My baby fall, falls down, like se cayó. Sí. Es que el traductor no me lo traduce así. I'm, I'm using my own words, you know. I'm trying to do it, but, but if you want to do it with the translate, con Google Translate. Yes. Pero el teacher estaba diciendo que lo teníamos que como acomodar a los, al tema de los millennials. Entonces no sé si... Mm. Si ustedes ah. entienden la idea de él, por ejemplo, él decía, ay, qué bendecido estoy, el pelo no se me frició. O sea, son cosas así como que estos chicos pues hacen un drama de algo tan sencillo. Nosotros hacemos un drama, pero de un problema. ¿verdad? Pero es mm, como... en verdad. Entonces, Ajá. usando ese verbo de... I think, I think no. words use. I think. <laughs> Por, 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 por ejemplo, la anterior sí, creo yo que sí está súper bien. Ah, yes, yes, eso Ajá. Ajá. Vaya, sí. pero esta, ¿qué, ¿cómo podríamos decir entonces? Mm. <ríe> 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 en los millennials. Eh, pero... Ajá, a los millennials tenemos que pensar, cabal. A <ríe> los millennials, no. Eh. Exagere. <ríe> <ríe> Uh, eh, quiero ver. I was in shock by. Oh, oh, yeah. no sé. I was in shock. Maybe, by... maybe. Similar. My baby estaba en shock después de caerse. No sé. <laughs> Casi no, similar. pero ese es un problema como de muy adultos. Pues te estás preocupando por... eh, pero no. ajá. Ajá. Ah. ajá ahí vas ah estaba en show porque no le prestó el celular ay, ah, ajá yes do not respect do not respect that other driver ajá en number two Gabriela driver yes And the number two with word cancelled is uh, my credit card will be cancelled if I don't pay my bills. Okay. And number three is uh, it will say you are always a place. I'm okay. Okay, and number four, continue. Go ahead. Okay. Ok, continuo, Bryce. Feel. Feel. Oh, yes. Feel. Uh. Sí, a lo de Aloro. Aloro Feel. Ok. I feel good. Ta -na 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 -na. I feel good. Hey. Yes. For example, Walter, I, I don't know if you are you are agree with me, but, but I, I don't know, but always I, I can, I could see many women 
when they are love, they are falling in love. Sometimes, sometimes, and she looks or feels when the when they 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 bo boyfriend no, is rocks her her su corazón como pronuncias her heart her her heart corazón herido <laughs> oh my god okay and number four is uh feels 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 I don't know. Feels. Ladies, what sentence we can do with this with this word? And who and who will be the sentence? And in this picture, she feels so sad. sad. According to the picture. Oh my God, I see. Uh -huh, but because it's, it's in the moment. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. When I see, when I see. Uh -huh. it, it pass. Oh, no. In sure. this moment, it's veo. Uh -huh. Yo veo. veo. Uh -huh. And present. Ah, okay. Um, Oh, well, I'm in shock. Or I'm in shock. Looking, looking at you. For your new look. Mm, but I'm in shock when. I'm in shock when I look at. Okay. Um. Or for you, sir. I'm in shock when I look at the new. When I look at. Her new outfit. I'm in shock when I look at, look up, look up, look at. Oh my God, look up, look up, look up. Mm. Let me look. When I see, cuando yo veo. No. Maybe. A mí, a mí, I... como, como contando, eh, como que yo te esté contando, en trencha, cuando vi el nuevo look de ella. I'm in shock when I look up. When I look up, look up. When I saw. When I saw. Mm -hmm. When I saw for your new outfit. Uh -uh. No, no, Adriana. No, so I look up. Look mm. up. Uh -huh. Es como que yo te diga, I'm in shock when I look up a floor outfit. Entré en shock cuando vi el nuevo, el, cuando vi el, el B. Uh -huh. Look up es como al, cuando admiras a alguien. Uh -huh. Cuando admiras el nuevo outfit, por decir de algo, I'm in shock. I'm in shock when I look up the floor's uh, outfit. Me impacté cuando vi el nuevo look de flor. Si lo queremos traducir, entiendo. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. What's up? That was something. No, I'm we just listening wrong, to you. We are okay. Repeat we it, are repeat wrong, it. We are okay. okay, I'm in shock uh, when uh, I look up floors. Yeah. Outfit. You're using it as a verb. Oh my what? God, Roselena, your glasses. I'm in shock. Okay. They're amazing. Uh, okay. 
Oh my God, your hair, Roslena. Your hair. I'm in shock. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, I'm shocked. I... I'm shocked. I'm yeah. shocked. Okay. Okay. Uh, in, in that case, off your your outfit. I'm in. Sh I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. That's the way you do it. Remember that is like I'm over. Shocked. It's overreacting. Exagerar is. No. Nunca te ha pasado que alguien te hace eso. Um. Un jefe de mi esposo una vez, yo estaba utilizando una camisa de los... Uh, mi mamá me mandó una camisa que tenía el número 8 y por eso nunca me la ponía. Este, de los Dallas Cowboys, de las Dallas Cowboys. Y entonces él era fanático de los de las Cowboys y yo no sabía. Oh. Y cuando me vio me dijo, ¿qué basura está su camisa? I'm like, What? O sea, no, que qué chiva está yo. Ok. Claro. <laughs> Thank you, right? Así. Uh, That's a clear example. Ok. Overreacting. Ok. Eh, the second word, eh, maybe blessed. Blessed. Yeah. Blessed. 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 Blessed, okay. Bless the sentence, and maybe hashtag blessed for um, for my iPhone in the example. Yeah, I'm blessed. I, 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 I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed because I have the new iPhone. <laughs> for my iPhone and eh, 40 the last iPhone uh -huh. o sea que que, que bendecida I was looking the word snatch. Snatch. Another word. Sorry, it's just that I'm watching the video that we're going to watch after this to understand the um, the use of this vocabulary in the workplace, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> which is the main topic of this conference, how millennials characteristics influence in the workplaces. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, so you're ready. How many you have? And no teacher. I... One sentence. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> two, two sentences. Okay. Two. Okay. Everybody else. Bless. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. It's difficult, isn't it? A little bit difficult. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> hey, hey. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. My God, the attendance floor, you didn't remind me. Me recordó floor. Teacher, la lista. Hey, two more weeks, floor. Two more weeks. Are you sending them to the summer camp? Are you sending Fabio? Fabio, right? And um, what's her name? Yo, la chele, le digo. 
A la chela le digo. Her name is Sophie. Sophie, I will never forget her name. <laughs> I have a Sophie too in my life. So, are you sending them on the summer camp? She's there. <laughs> Are they going to the and, summer? Uh, yes. On November. Wow. Uh, finally, October. At the end of October. At the end of October. Yeah, they're finishing in October. No, but on November, are they going? Um, no? Maybe, no. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're thinking about saving that money this year because every year we send them on November, from November to December, you know. But I'm working from home, so they will stay home on November. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Estoy sorprendido que solo vemos dos en esta clase. Oh, my God. This is too much. Let me do the attendance first before I listen to your sentences, okay? Ada Patricia Linares Galdames, Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores, present. Ana Selmi Cheves, Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo, present. Flor de Maria Carballo Garte, present. Gabriel Ignacio Lara, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores, present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames, Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Was there? Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. I don't know what's going on with Pamela's audio. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Diraeta. Perdón, Diraeta. Susana Cantés connected. Walter Mauricio Ara Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay, let me get your sentences. If you want, you can write them on the chat in Zoom or just say it. You know what? I'll go one by one with you because we are just too few. We are just 12. So let me start with Flor. <laughs> okay, give me the sentence. <laughs> one sentence of your group. Okay. Um, oh my God, your new look, I am in shock. Oh my God, your new look, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Okay, what do you think? I'm shocked. Yeah, that could be right. <laughs> Millennials tend to overreact for some things. Okay, thank you, Flora. Carla Vasquez. Number two. Millennials don't want to become adults. Millennials don't want to become, become adults. adults. Um, were you trying to use uh, adulting? What was the word, guys? Adulting, right? Adulting, yes. I was confused because the description of the of the word, of the word, uh, uh, um, some confused because they finally say that millennials to uh, behavior uh, change the oil, pays the rent, etc. But I I don't don't was clear. Really. I was not I was not clear really. Okay, yeah. adulting. Who 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 can give me um an example using that word adulting? In adulting, uh, we we found the, the words and 
in in a tractor he was uh, adulterado but i don't mm -mm. i don't know right right it. right no 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 that's the point um mm -hmm. if you read the description it talks about uh when a millennial does something that carries some responsibility like for example working oh, yeah. or paying the electricity bill just doing errands uh ser mandados doing errands for the house that's adulting so i called you carla and i go like hey carla what are you doing uh some adulting things you know but adulting uh what what the mirror then i don't understand i'm behaving as an adult mm. es como uh, le llamo a gabriel le digo gabriela que qué andas haciendo ah. Cosas de adulto. Uh, <laughs> right? Things that they don't like to do. Things they meeting, don't like to do. Mm -hmm. Meeting the, uh, the adult. Exactly. Things that adults do. Want to be Adulting. Adult. Okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Gabriel yeah. Alejandro González Flores. This comes natural, teacher. <laughs> okay uh, for example my friend got a makeover and now she glow out she glow out what what which what's the word glow out glow up glow up glow up exactly it's like when you grow up but have an unbelievable ugly duckling like transformation <laughs> oh my god that is so that is so mean but they they pay attention to that a lot it's like um your best friend just the way gabriela said your best friend was ugly she used to just like betty la fea and then right she transformed that that's the meaning of that word like that wow okay great job walter mauricio hey teacher um the respect if you are going to drive you are more to respect the other driver you must respect the other drivers yes you think that's right is that like millennial guys what do you think? Uh, um, so, so, millennia is a, uh, at the people, uh, uh, I don't know. Read it, read it. In, it in, says, in, in, how do you say inquietos? Untranquil? Untranquil? Untranquil. Oh my mm -hmm. God, untranquil. It's a, uh, solo acelerado le gusta. <laughs> In fact, yeah, if you read it, it says it can be used by itself. It by can be used itself. by itself. Yeah. Okay. Hey. And they do this. They do this. Hey, respect. Alfredo. <laughs> you, you, lo you love the 80s music, right? Yes. Yeah, respect, man. Yes, yes. Uh... Like that, respect. <laughs> <laughs> like that that's like crazy it. yeah okay wilfredo your turn another word i am going to make i want to told uh told you as uh, uh, sentences with the word feels 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 hmm. okay not only women not only women feel not only women sometimes feels so sad but uh but also but also the man have their feelings too. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's right in the yeah, the teacher, the, the situation was that we, we, with my classmate, we're talking about feelings, but always in general, women looking look so sad when when her they're, her, they're more her emotional broke 
broke her heart. Broke her heart. When when a man broke breaks their heart, women become more emotional. Yes. Uh, but, that some men do. But not only the women. Yeah, not only the women. Man, but also, but also, teacher, we we was we were confused. The men or the men. Men. If you generalize, forget about the article, the men, okay. no, men. But also men, mm -hmm. sometimes we have to cry. <laughs> yeah, we cry sometimes, yeah. that's okay. Now this this feels, feels, man, you just hit me right on the feels. Man, this situation breaks my feels, breaks my right. feels. Instead of saying, this breaks my feelings. You heard my feelings. You heard my feels. Está mala, mala, mala aplicada la palabra para los millennials. Yeah, en lugar de, you heard my feelings. Quieres mis sentimientos. You heard my feels. Ah, es como un millennial te puede decir, hey, watch out with my feels. Hey, watch out my feels. Watch out with my feels. Cuidado con mis sentimientos. Out. Yeah, watch out. Okay, Ophelia, you get one. Um, I, I consider is a concert is con, concert and Shakira. The concert of Shakira is. Uh, canceling. Cancelled. Cancelled. Uh huh. Cancelled. Very good. Hey, cancelled. Hey, Shakira concert. Cancelled. That's right. Very good. You see, very simple. Adriana. Okay. I like my car. It's Gucci. <laughs> I knew you were going to use Gucci. Very good. <laughs> I like my car. It's Gucci. Oh, hey, I, I love your outfit. It's Gucci. <laughs> they they actually just go like, hey, Gucci. Like that. Hey, hey, Gucci. Very good. My God. Okay, Edwin. Hello. Um well <laughs> I was I was in shock because I have no internet connection on my cell phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have no internet connection. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Yes. Yeah, yes. you call. Imagine yourself calling Claro. Thank you for calling. Gracias por llamar a Claro. ¿En qué le puedo servir? I'm shocked. I'm shocked right now. <laughs> this is exaggerated, right? You're overreacting. Yes. You're overreacting. Exactly. That's right. That's, that's right. what. That's what millennials do. They can live without our internet or, or with the phone. I will be happy if I don't have internet. I will. You're talking in mute, I think. No, no, no. It's just that my wife was about to hit one of the dogs who just oh. came behind my chair and he's hiding. Oh my god, no, you, you won't see this. No, you cannot see it because I have the the thing on the on the camera. Forget it. But the dog just came behind my chair because he's scared because he peed on the kitchen. He peed on the kitchen, so he came out running behind my chair, and he's shaking right now. <laughs> you didn't get it, right? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, guys. Anyone else? Susana, do you have a, a sentence for I'm us? I'm sorry. I receive a call from, from work. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, what a, Rosalina, would you like to share your sentence? Oh my God, we're blessed. Okay. Okay. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Blessed. I'm blessed because I have my new iPhone. <laughs> Man, I got my new iPhone. I'm so blessed. <laughs> I'm so blessed. I have my new iPhone. <laughs> Very good, guys. Okay. I'm trying to keep you entertained. Estoy tratando de mantenerlos entretenidos porque sé que este tema puede ser un poco 
abrumador en cierto sentido, de verdad es que hay tanto que decir sobre este tema, pero he ocupado mucho la técnica del video porque me parece que les agrada y el contenido que es bastante extenso también en internet, pero hay que tener cuidado con lo que se encuentra, right? So, and in English, it's not easy. No es tan común encontrar temáticas sobre el trabajo y los millennials. Sin embargo, el siguiente video está perfecto para este tema. So again, the topic is how millennials' characteristics influence in the workplace. And this video is a clear example. Again, I invite you, take notes. Enciendan las subtítulos. Bajen la velocidad si necesitan. El video solo dura 3.55. Les voy a dar 10 minutos nada más para que ustedes tomen nota, traten de entender el significado de alguna palabra nueva y lo compartan con el, la clase cuando regresemos, ¿ok? Bien, no nos vamos a ir a grupos, solo vamos a estar acá. Ahorita les envío a link in ambos chats, okay? So please pay attention to the video. Let's go.
Be careful at the end. Veo con el final tiene un sonido muy fuerte. So, okay.
Okay, are you ready? Okay, so what do you think about this video? Do you think it's true? I, I guess, teacher, that it is interesting the, the behavior, comportament, because uh, I guess millennials always think and their, um, I, I don't know, their feelings or, or what they need. Because, for example, according to the video, the the woman mm -hmm. asked for asked for ten days pay vacation because she need to go. And uh, I guess I I guess that another woman was the boss, and she told told her no. But when hey, she she looked so so sad, but when her boss told her why don't go go to home early right, right. but they i guess i guess uh, many many millennials think so different that uh, other people but they they always think so that the I, I i don't know how i can say the life it is so light but they, they always are they don't worry. They don't worry about things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Carla? And when you watch this video, you wonder what happened to the fisher when the millennials take over the management of the <gasps> economy of the country. Oh my god. Yeah. In the in the same time, the baby boomer is stopped working hmm. i got your point what's going to happen in the future when millennials take over management you, you just said it right right yeah it's really concerning what's going to happen to the world but they said it they said it at the at the end of the video right yeah yes it's the this example of the Behavior of millennia is very uh, is common. Common, common and preocupante. Concerning, concerning. Uh, concerning because they been very free. Don't don't take a worryless. They think worryless. Yes. Despreocupadamente, worryless, worryless. I worryless, I yes. It's true, it's true, true, true. Okay, Rosalena. I, like, I like it. I like Thank it when I listen to something that they say that, um, oh, is there a dead song? Is a dead song like a zombie? For example, the girl asks, what? Night, night, Teddy. Noodle, noodle, noodle. noodle, noodle, noodle. <laughs> you know what are noodles, right? Do you know? You know what are noodles? Yes. You, yes. Yeah. Noodles. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Because it's true. Uh, um, Jesus is, is, oh my God. She start to work at 10 30. <laughs> because millennials wake up very late. late. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for they for them the the morning began begin at ten a.m. ten 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 thirty, <laughs> and yeah. they need they need the latte. Yeah, they need, they need the, the coffee. Latte. If yeah, not, the coffee. they don't function very well. Yeah, okay, the, teacher, uh, teacher. Thanks, coffee. <laughs> Millennials. Yeah, this is true. But well, I I do that. I start working <laughs> at five. I start working at five. But in reality, if I don't drink my coffee first, 
I'm all grumpy, you know, like, uh, damn it. I have to be here. Uh, <laughs> hey, um, let's see. For many of you, well, I think all of you were on intermediate. So some some words should be familiar. Look at the chat here in some B2B company. What is a B2B company? Who remembers intermediate five? A business to business, business company. to business. Oh, company. very good. It's a business <laughs> to business company. Uh huh. Let's see. Intermediate six. What's a Fortune 500 company? What? <laughs> what is a Fortune 500 companies? I mean, what is that? Fortune 500 companies. Ah, I wasn't your teacher. I was not your teacher. So, at this point, you should have heard about the stock market, the stock exchange market. What is that? I think I wrote it right. Yeah, the stock exchange market. El mercado de valores. So the Fortune 500 companies, y esto es cultura general, señores. Fortune 500 companies es una parte una sección de las tres escenas mayores de la bolsa de valores. Lo está el 500 plus, el Dow Jones, y el otro que no me acuerdo cómo se llama. ¿Sí? ¿Ya? So, Fortune 500 companies están como un listado de 500 compañías que retienen eh, cierta cantidad de fortuna. Ok, that's it. Es como, como, como lo general que deberías de saber del mercado de valores. Ok. Market research. You remember what is a market research? Yeah. Yep. It's like the feasibility study. No. Okay. Turn up. What is the turn up? They ask, okay, what did the research turn up? What was the result? Guess es un sinónimo de resultado. Turn up. Okay, pour on, pour on, to pour on some praise. Turn on the praise, it says. Pour on, pour on the praise. Did you get that verb, pour on? Verter, verter, literal en, en español, verter. Derramar, verter, okay. Esta palabra, praise, cuidado, puede ser elogio, alabanza también, pero no es appraisal. An appraisal is something that somebody does. A perito goes to your house and does an appraisal. That's different, ¿ok? Un balúo, appraisal. Es muy similar, ¿eh? Um, ok, are we on the same page? Are we on the same page? No, we are lost. Okay. <laughs> to be on the same page, estar compaginados, estar en la misma onda. Okay. And lastly, scroll into. Okay. When you scroll into the class, scroll into your job. Es como decir deslizarse, desplazarse, es el trabajo, pero arrastrando los pies. Okay. Scroll into work. Bien. Eh, Nos quedan un par de minutos nada más antes de que pase el listado. Dígame. I'm sorry. I listen a, a word. Uh -huh. Sunbird. I listen sunbird. Sun, S-U-N. Mm, yeah. S-A-N-D-B-E-I-R-G. Sunbird. Sandbar. I think it's that. I think it's Sandbar. Sand, sandbar. I think, I think it's the, the last name of the Sherry. Sherry oh, yes, Sandberg. yes, yes. Yes, Cheryl Sandbar. Era el apellido de, de la chica, sí. Mm -hmm. Cheryl Sandbar. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Un minuto, rápido. Súper rápido. Necesito su feedback porque soy millennial, entonces. <laughs> Por favor, necesito retroalimentación. Um, Sugerencias, comentarios, consejos de baño, fel, felino. Oh 
Que me encanta ver cómo hacen eso, cómo se bañan. Exagerado. Con solo que no abran las piernas. Ah, sí. Frente a la cámara. Oh my God. Ajá. Sugerencias, comentarios. Quejas. Eh, a ver. No, en lo personal me gustan mucho este tipo de actividades, teacher, porque eh, tratamos de comprender el tema de los videos y la discusión. A mí me, pare, me parece súper bien porque no solamente hablamos, tratamos de hablar, sino que también escuchamos y, y analizamos el tema del que se está hablando. Entonces me parece, la verdad me gustan mucho este, estas actividades y me motivan también me quitan el sueño porque tengo que estar ahí eh, poniendo atención para, para uh -huh. saber de qué se está hablando. Uh -huh. True, true, true. Ok, ya están listos para inscribirse, ¿verdad? Hoy era el último día, creo, para entregar los documentos, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Sí? yes. Ok. Teacher, I, hey. I, I, didn't, I didn't see my name in the chat, but I get my company, Human Resource, make this, this procedure. Sí, la mayoría de compañías me envían la documentación. Eh, se les informa a ustedes, se les pide que lo hagan como a manera de, de estar presionando, ¿verdad? Y estar pendientes. Porque igual, eh, es, es mentira, a veces a los personal de recursos humanos está más clavado con la planilla y tanta cosa que hacer. ¿verdad? Dejan de último estos, estos detalles que para ustedes pues, son muy importantes. So, ánimo, eh, les veo mañana, esta noche quería pedirle a alguien que se queda, no me acuerdo. Ah, Wilfredo, Wilfredo. No sé si tiene 10 minutos, Wilfredo. Ok, let's do it. I need to sure. go to, to do another thing, but I, I can. It is. Sure. It is. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Really quick, really quick. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames was not here tonight. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you, Adriana. Anaselmi Chavez was missing. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames, Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos, Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Who's here too. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Was here too. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Thank you. San, let's see, Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Thank you. Okay. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye to tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Okay, Wilfredo, let's take advantage of these eight minutes I'm going to steal from you. Okay. Um, so let me just remove Nelson. I think he did, forgot. Okay, so... A technique that they're using a lot on interviews nowadays is be natural. So talk to me about your experience in traveling. What has been your experience with traveling? The last year, teacher, I went to the United States with my with my children, my middle and my my youngest. Then it was so interesting interview but when we make a check-in in the airport because i i always siempre i i always thought pensé o quise uh, make a, a, a interview in full english but when customer officer uh, start to to ask me for uh, how, how many days are going to be in the United States, 
or what kind of food uh, do uh, well, I'm, I I run in this moment or, or but the first time I, I remember in 2016 it, it was my first time I went to United States a customer officer officer told me uh, what kind of food did you bring and I start to to answer him um I, pollo campero of course <laughs> beans and cheese and what kind of what kind of beans do, do you do you bring dry beans or green beans but i remember that i i i was in shock because i understand him uh, dry and a mexican officer uh, um, another officer he lives in mexico and he told me uh, frijoles secos or verdes um secos ah, go ahead, no problem but this time the, the last time it was so different because i start to to start reading the gay in the last year around may I, I don't remember i i start from level module module three basic then i start to remember again the fluency the uh, nor another learn another word right get some more vocabulary and some verbs then this the last time teacher that i went with my children it, it was so interesting because in las vegas i i went with my cousin to get a COVID test mm -hmm. but i on and i and a nurse told told me uh, will you give me permission to touch him? My my youngest. Um, but yes, <laughs> but I, I didn't hear and I, I didn't understand well. But after that, another nurse told me who is Xavier. But I didn't understand, understand nothing by my 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 middle child told me uh, told told her uh he is xavier i'm rodrigo and he's my father with her <laughs> yo me quedé así porque yo no sabía que, que, el, que el nombre de mi hijo en, en inglés that's my son's name too xavier xavier and you didn't watch the uh the x-men yes. yes. professor <laughs> professor charles xavier Creo, yeah. Incluso en el español le decían profesor Charles Xavier. No decían profesor Carlos Javier. <laughs> y, y este, pero la, 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 lo, lo interesante fue que una noche anterior estuvimos en, en, el, en, en este hotel, en, en el Mirage. Uh -huh. Mis primos trabajan en casino, en el Wing, en el Bellagio. En el, en el, no me recuerdo el otro, en el, en el Mirage. Uh -huh. Y este, pagamos, eh, ahí me pagaron una estadía, estuvimos ahí compartiendo. Yo me recuerdo que allí me dicen mis niños que las niñas que son nacidas allá no pueden decir Xavier, no que siempre le decían así, Xavier. Um, It's true. When, yes, when ¿Y qué es la pronunciación? Yes, Xavier. But I, nunca me había fijado en, en eso. A mi hijo todo el mundo Javier le dice. Ya, igual a este, este, este mi hijo, Xavi. Javi, Chai, menos, Javi. menos, 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 Xavier, Java. Sí. Okay, Pero... let's see, let, let's see your chat. I went to US, ahí me, me comí la tello. Uh -huh. I went to US. Acuérdese de algo y muy importante que si usted está en Estados Unidos, lo puede, se puede encontrar con un gringo clavado, que es muy común con este tema. Es como que yo le digo a usted, ah, usted de, usted de Salvador, ¿verdad? Usted de Salvador. Entonces tú me dirías, El Salvador, por favor, El Salvador, lo mismo le pasa en americano. I went to the United States, or I went to the USA. I went to the USA. Ahí sí, no hay que olvidar el artículo nunca. I, I went, went to, to the, the U.S. To ah, the US. Okay. I went to the USA. Ah. That's it. I went to the USA. I went to the U.S. Whatever. Okay, with my children. Very good. Uh, I always thought about making an interview, an interview, an interview. An interview. 
Ajá, ya, ya van varias veces que noto eso del artículo. A interview, no, no para todo es, ah, también está la an, que va antes de vocal. An interview. Hay buena. Ajá. I, o I, o I, have an, I have an interview. I have an interview. I have an interview. Ahí está. Ah, está okay. diferente, sí. I have an interview. Ok, about making an interview. Y aquí esto era, I always thought about having an interview with yes when i start having when i started start, no, sorry. Start, uh -huh. start, Vamos a, oh. when customer officer decía varias veces y es customs 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 creo ver customs 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 office custom officer customs officer Co customs ah, officer ajá uh -huh. customs, customs officer custom officer Exacto, a customs officer. I start to answer. Esto lo he notado mucho también. I started. Cuando hablo en pasado, siempre el primero va a ir en pasado. I started. Y luego tengo la opción de decir to answer. I started to answer. O I started answering. Es que suena mejor. I started answering all of his questions. What kind of beans? You bring. Ahora, esto ocurre porque un americano hace exactamente eso. Se comen el, el auxiliar para hacer las preguntas. Y una oración en afirmación la, suen, la hacen sonar pregunta. Cabal así. What kind of beans you bring? Did you bring? What kind of beans did you bring? Ya, sí, quitan, sí. Me... Quitan, sí. Quitan el artículo y no me crea a mí, vea películas, hable con alguien nativo y suelen hacer eso, una, una oración en, en afirmativo, lo hacen sonar como pregunta. You're awake? You're awake? Y la, la, la pregunta awake? es, are you awake? ¿Ves? O sea, you are awake sería la afirmación, pero la hacen sonar como pregunta. You're awake? Are you awake? That's, that's the question. Ya terminamos. A ver, I started to study English. Lo mismo, ¿no? I started studying English. I began studying English. I started studying English. Learn other words. Y de nuevo, another singular, other plural. I learned other words. I learned other. Other words. Other words. Correct. Okay. Yeah, teacher, but... but um... I, I guess, teacher, that it is so, so hard, but when... It's not difficult. Start... ¿Sabe qué es lo bueno? But, Usted mm -hmm. Estados Unidos y no se pierde. Yes, because um, I am in 19, in, in 2019, 19, um, before pandemic, uh, we were with my, my brother and my sister to celebrate to my mom's birthday. <laughs> and we we drive we drove from los angeles to las vegas and my, i i remember i i told to my brother hey it is a good idea to use the the ways <laughs> la, la, la cuestión que me dijo no no mira yo tengo mi teléfono ya seteado nos pegamos una perdida de hora y media en los ángeles ni habíamos salido al frío y este, me recuerdo que, que le dije a mi mamá, préstame su teléfono, sentí el teléfono de ella, le descargué el güey y puse la dirección de, de, mi, de mi familiar en Las Vegas. Y nos hizo la ruta y yo me recordaba porque había ido una vez con uno de ellos, salimos al freeway al 5, 115, no me recuerdo, que a veces dice San Bernardino. Y le dije a mi hermano, ¿a quién le? No, la cuestión que en él se metió al freeway y, y no, 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 para, 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 me dijo. Y, pero ya estábamos... Man, pero eso se sí ha de ser bien complicado, de tanto paso a desnivel en el freeway, o sea, cuál agarrar, cuál salida tomar. Por eso es que hay muchos accidentes allá también. Porque a último segundo es como, ahí está la salida. Ajá, cabal, y yo no sé qué. Pero me recuerdo que llegó un, una patrulla rapidito, menos de ni, ni dos minutos teníamos de estar ahí. Se llegó alguien hacia atrás de nosotros y, y nos preguntó, pero en inglés. ¿no? Y me recuerdo que, que le, solo le dije... We are finding the road to Las Vegas. Ah, you're right. Man. Me recuerdo que me preguntó también si, si necesitábamos algo más. No, we, we, are, we are only sharing the, the, the cell phone with Wayne to go to Las Vegas. Ah, ok, ok. 
y hasta ese no, no, a ella no le entendí, nos dijo que como que se nos iba a hacer una media la, con las luces para, medio, para que nos incorporamos, porque nos dijo que era demasiado peligroso. Yeah, you cannot stop, no puedes detenerte en el freeway. No. That's what they say. Bueno, Wilfredo, lo dejo hacer su asunto. Thank you very much. Oh, gracias, gracias por estar conmigo. Good night. Gracias, gracias a usted.